Hello! This is me, Lily's, back with another episode of my walkthrough of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom. Today's episode is Strategy. Now, I have actually played this, or I've actually done the, uh, thing. I've actually purposely lost this three times in a row to, to uh, level up my characters a good amount, as you can see. I'm showing you, they're all around, uh, level 10. Um, and I swapped out Tristan's uh, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, with Mystic Horseman. Um, and his Giant Soldier is Stone with Hain Hain. The reason why I got why I did that is because I'm keeping Gazelle to level up next to perform it. And I'm going to put Giant Soldier of Stone in a different team. And we're going to send Yugi in the mountains north of the, uh, the uh, middle, middle station there. Um, we're gonna send Fizdis, since she's the fastest, to liberate this place. Tristan is gonna go over by the main base. Um, and Shinon, well, put any, put the person you wanna level up the most right next to the middle place. Do not take it yet. And you will see why in a moment. Um, all of these people are actually going to take this base. And I didn't know this the uh, the first time I was doing this. Um, I actually defeated every person in that base, but my my characters were so terribly wounded. Um, I couldn't defeat the boss, and I was about to go, and the explosion happened and killed all my people. I did, I was uh, not paying attention. Oh yeah. Where Yugi is right there in the uh, top left corner is where you get this monster, Wing, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one, and now you have him. And it you do have to send Yugi and only Yugi up there. Only he can get Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress one. All right, so you're gonna send uh, Yugi over to the main base. There is, uh, I think there's seven people, uh, seven enemies in this place, and. Five of them are in the middle, middle area, and the boss, um, and one of his lackeys are in there. You want to defeat the lackey because he will not be harmed when the fire goes off, and so he will be full health. So, um, take him out before the fire goes off. Checking all my characters real quick. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use Tristan to take out the lackey real quick. I might have to use Tristan and Yugi. I have leveled them up quite, quite, quite a bit, actually. Um, they're pretty beastly now. My monsters are pretty beastly. As you can see, Swordsman from a Foreign Land has five stars now. Um,. I've given um, Mystic Horseman a legendary sword, so that gave him a good uh, good stat boost. Now let's lay down the hurt. Shadow Ghoul is the toughest enemy in this in this group. Um, Shadow Ghoul actually, if if you level him up enough, he will learn super stamina. Um, Rocket Warrior will uh, learn Rocket Boost Attack, which attacks a single enemy and lowers their attack a decent amount. And let's see, Swordsman from a Foreign Land, I do know for a fact that he learns Mystic Linear Slice, which does, I think, double damage to a single opponent. And Hain Hain will learn Turnover Tornado, which attacks all of your enemies at once. See, I took him out. No, I will not be able to take all these people out in one one uh, run. I'll, I will have to use Yugi. I'm gonna center that there. Little PG-13 blood. He put some serious oomph into his attack. Looks really painful. Do not. I do not want to get hit by that.
gonna do some uh, some extra extra damage. Um, I think I'm gonna leave these two monsters alive since they cannot harm me anymore. So that Yugi's monsters can get the extra extra experience for uh, for killing them. Helps them out a lot. Laying down the hurt. So that yeah, that should give Yugi a good a good experience boost. Alright, I'm gonna stop him for now. Once he gets a little closer. Yugi is gonna take him out. And the fire goes off at exactly nine o'clock PM. So you're just gonna have to wait until nightfall. The enemies will not come out until the uh, the fire goes off, so you don't have to worry about them taking over your main base. Gonna heal Mr. Horseman real quick. Oh, here we go. Okay, heal him one more time. All right, Yugi, take him out. Guarded. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to give the uh, the experience to Blackland Fire Dragon. If not, that's okay. Yeah, awesome. Blackland Fire Dragon's kind of lagging behind in the experience era, so I'll help him out. Oh, they're all eleven. Cool. <sighs> Just gonna have to wait for 9 p.m. to come. I guess you could take out the boss if you wanted to, but that would that would be seriously undermining the uh, the entire reason we're doing this. Is uh you you want the experience? I don't know why you would uh, bypass this unless you're like trying to go fast. Um. And just uh, go through the campaign as quick as possible to get to a certain monster. But other than that, I don't see any reason you should uh, skip by this. I actually did do this uh, three times uh, before I recorded this episode. Earned some good experience. I think I'm going to show you guys what happens when you build a trade union. Um, every now and then, if you want to build a trade union... Uh, you'll well you bit when you build a trade union you get some uh, you get a trader there and sometimes they'll sell interesting things like these German fictions and shadow spells these are level one magics and come in handy uh, when you have a spellcaster that knows mad that has a, a magic level um, German faction uh, if you have the card you know it poisons people um, and shadow spell will paralyze one enemy. Eventually, you'll get uh, either Raimi or Regaki that paralyzes all enemies at once. Useful magic. Um, and spellcasters, once they learn a uh, magic level, they will not exceed that magic level. Like, um, Dark Magician will learn ma uh, magic level 5. Uh, Dark Magician Girl will learn, I think level four she will never learn anything less or anything more so once she knows her magic level um, she cannot exceed that or go beyond go below that so you're kind of stuck with that kind of magic these these characters are actually pretty darn pretty well made I mean somebody actually put some thought into this game oh all right here's the fire it's almost time it's Time! You just blew up! <laughs> Alright, and send the person you want to at this. Some people will start uh, trying to go to the nearest base to attack them. Don't worry about that. See, look, look at how much HP they have left. They're almost not even worth your time. Uh... 
you, if you do it right, you can actually defeat an entire unit without even taking damage. And the way you can do that is, I don't know, just take out the targets you think are the fastest. Like, it goes Wing Eagle, then Thunder Dragon, then Mavilus. But, um, it's really almost random. I miss. Um, I'm gonna cut this episode short. Since it's not that gonna it's not gonna be that big of an episode. So after this yeah, I'm gonna win this fight. And then I'm gonna end the episode. Or at least this part anyway, and I will see you guys on part two.